movement is called a ma bu block. Okay, let me demonstrate the movement first. We start continue from the fourth one. Okay, ready, go. Yes. Okay, say again. Ready here. Chin. Go. Yes. Okay, we do slowly. So you're able to see the movement more clear. Notice my arm, my step, my body work, my hand as well. Ready? Go. Move the weight. Elbow. Okay. And again. <coughs> So once you see the movement I'm supposed to do, then we separate the movement again, like last. We're talking about the first of this stance. You stand here, use the step, move to whole stance. From the same, make a circle, move, circle to mabu, distant, and sit. The level with your knee, same level. Okay. The board is side. The feet, see the feet. Okay, you could able to slightly move this bit, but make sure definitely no going that side, which means this hip being opened. It's no good to support you like a triangle. The idea that Mabu is supposed to see the man is like a triangle, give you more strong position. This is the feet. The reason we move that way is kind of like easy get in. Um, people, it's hard to stop you like getting in. So how to make a circle, the body turning helps all around. Then you get in. You probably notice my right feet as well. Because, because my body moves too quick, too heavy, the right leg will naturally come in to support you slightly. But remember, it's a slightly and naturally. Do not try, so you miss the point. Say it again. Stand here, boom. So my feet slightly go. Okay, this is how the stance always do. Make sure you notice the knee do not over your feet. See, you can see the position. Your weight lost the support. So back, body, central, step, like this. Then here. Okay, this is how the stance work. Then let's talk about the arm work. The arm work, when you say the is arm block, is use the body lead your shoulder turn to like 45 degree, no much, just little. And able to swing the shoulder, elbow open force, and chop to block. Say it again. Shoulder, whoa, turn, elbow open, and chop. Say, actually, my body is like a wave and chop. That's different with the arm block. See, my arm block. See, this is a whole arm. It's less speed, right? Um, it is more powerful, but if you know speed enough, it's no work. So make sure this movement is a chop, no block. Okay, say it again. When I ready here, see, turn the body, elbow open slightly, just slightly, no overall. And body lead, stop there. Just front of your face. And with your shoulder, same level. Make sure. See my arm, no turn too much. It will make your muscle uncomfortable. Naturally, say side, my face. Do this, do that, just halfway. You feel your arm loose, comfortable. Okay, that's for the arm. Then the breath, same things like last elbow defense. It's half breathe. Huh? When you go, prepare is breathe up to your chest. 
when you go, let the breeze push the movement. Hish, quick, hish. The breeze quickly down to your stomach. Then the the breeze will going to support your step and arm. Rest of your body, hip, shoulder was locked, was tight. The chi, the breeze won't go through that way. It's more force going to which movement you move. That's why the breeze is going to support your movement. Okay, one the leg stands, and two is the arm. Number three is the breeze. So lay the movement together. Okay, let's try your practice with me. Once you see the detail I'm talking to you, then you try follow me now slowly. Do the, do the movement. We start from elbow defense position from last, and slowly do. So one, per height, say move my shoulder, my arm. Two, arm block. Okay, check the distance, check the feet level, check the arm. And also my right arm, see that? This is tidy up here. Elbow don't open, close your back. The reason is here, to stop your chi. Breathe, go to the other side. <coughs> then go to the front side. Okay, let's try it again. I still say one and two. One is the prepare, the breeze is up. Two is finish the movement, the breeze is down. Okay, let's try here from the elbow defense. One, breeze up to your chest, semi prepared movement. Two, the breeze quickly down to your stomach and chop. Okay, see the distance, check it. Okay, stop. Sometimes the most popular uh, mistake is that when you move your step, it's too much weight on here. Uh, it's hard for you to move next. That's why we training Kung Fu is a balance. That is the key. Okay, it doesn't matter you move slow or quick. Important thing is to balance yourself. This is movement the same. You block, <coughs> so your power still balance the both leg. Then you're able to continue to do next. If you sit down, whoa, and you wait too much on here. So we go next. You can see the difference. So the weight on this movement supposed to be the front leg a little bit more. It's like a 60% weight, your body weight on the side, and only 40% now on this side. But you cannot tell very much. Okay, you know the movement now? Practice with me one more time. Okay, from here. One, two. Okay, that's uh, learn and practice. Next, we're going to show you the application for the marble block. How we're going to use that. Okay, ready? Now let's do the application for the marble block. Now let's Warren to help me. And uh, Warren will try slowly act in the movement, try attack me, and I use the marble block. Do slowly first, then we do fast. Make sure you see the stance, the movement, the arm. You can see more clearly. Okay, Warren, if you try slowly to punch me, and I try to use my leg, step close to him, and chop in. Uh, this is chop in. Okay, make sure the leg is closed rather than this bit further on your chop. You miss more gap, it's more danger. Okay, so this is the m movement is close to. For example, hold it. For example, if you block this area, be more danger because when he punch you, this is the more focus, more powerful area. If you try block, it's one is hard, two because it's with this distance, you may missing there. It's hard to catch up, but the weak area is the end, this part, this of a part of the body. So 
when they, the idea is when they punch you, you try much at the same time, you close your body and get into block, use the marble. Okay, this is the idea. Now you try naturally just punch me, what do you do? And again, a bit more quick. See that? Get in. The same time, protect yourself. Remember, okay, thank you. Remember, when you get in, the feet still keep mabu. The reason we keep mabu, like we said before, you already prepare for next movement or you run away. If you go this way again, your back is still gone, then you forward to continue, the movement already end. You don't have a space to do the next movement. So I hope this gave you some ideas for the mabu block. Once you know this movement, so when you practice the movement, you can keep image someone coming to attack, then the aim is chop in, in the, this area. Okay, thank you, Warren. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.